In this video, I will show you how to sync GitHub repository to Azure DevOps repo with using GitHub Actions. So here we have the GitHub repository where developers are working on the source code say and whenever they commit the changes to the GitHub repo side, it will invoke the GitHub Actions or a pipeline that would actually sync this entire GitHub repository to the repo that is uh, imported in Azure DevOps. So here finally we will see that you know we have built a process which can automatically sync the repository from GitHub to Azure DevOps with using the GitHub Actions on a same repository where you want to copy that. Right, so here I'm going to show you like you know what are all the steps that you have to follow to achieve this scenario. So here I'm going to show you like you know first what is the step that you have to perform that is importing the repository from GitHub into the Azure DevOps and then you know we're going to see how to create a GitHub Action pipeline which will keep the syncing in the sense which will keep the sync between this GitHub repository and Azure DevOps repo. So this is my GitHub. In this one I have a repository called GitHub to ADO sync. Now we're going to sync this particular repository to my ADO. So this is my ADO or Azure DevOps. In this one my organization name is CloudQuick Labs. Uh, we're going to use the project. So I have multiple projects here, but we're going to use this uh, project name called CloudQuick Labs ADO. So here, as I said, we're going to first import the repository from GitHub that you need to keep a sync. So for that one, you go back to the GitHub um, repository, copy the clone URL that is HTTPS URL. And then here click on the drop down. So basically you see that there are two tabs. Don't get confused. One tab is belongs to Azure DevOps. The other tab is belongs to github.com. So right now I'm on the uh, Azure DevOps um, and currently we are on the repo project of my project. My project name is Cloud Quick Labs ADO. So within that we are in the repo uh, options and then we are clicking on the drop down and here you see that you know import repository. So click on import repository. A repository type should be get and then here go you need to uh, put that uh, clone URL that is HTTPS uh, clone URL and say import. So once you click on import what happens is you know it will automatically import the repository for the first time in the sense here you know uh, you have the source code that is sitting in the GitHub, GitHub. Now that gets automatically imported on the Azure DevOps by importing that is a first thing that you can do. So once it is imported you know the second step that you would like to know here is how do I keep the sync between the repository in the Azure DevOps uh, in the in the GitHub to Azure DevOps. Okay, so our source is GitHub. Okay? Consider that an enterprise is using a GitHub, and there are a lot of source code development is happening. Though you imported a um, you know the repository, but there are a lot of work is happening. So you need to sync the source code between uh, the GitHub to ADO. So in that case, this is a solution will comes in picture. So right now we imported that is step number one we did it and you see that so when I open that particular repository called github to edu right so importing is mandatory step here and within that we have the branches so as you know so we have these many branches now we're going to go back to the uh, uh, the github and here also we have the same branches so basically the repository got imported now let's go to the solution that is we're going to write a script and a github action pipeline which will do the job. So for that case, what I did is I have cloned this repository in my ADO. So I'm in my uh, Visual Studio code. So okay, this is the clone of my GitHub repository uh, in the VS code. So this is my VS code. I have cloned the repository called GitHub to ADO sync. So in this one, we're going to create a GitHub action. So this is the GitHub actions. I'm going to quickly walk you through this. And then we're going to also show you like what are all the things that you have to you know, keep in, uh, you know, keep in place. So first one is this is very plain GitHub actions. Uh, the name of this GitHub action is something like this we have given, right? So remember that GitHub action is nothing but you know, it's uh, it's basically a declarative uh, YAML file that you need to keep it in a predefined path in the GitHub repository. Uh, the path name should be dot GitHub small letter backward slash workflows and then keep your YAML files. Say XYZ dot YAML file that becomes a workflow file name. So within this workflow file you have to maintain certain syntaxes and certain naming conventions. So that is something we are going to explain you now. So here is the name of my GitHub action that is push GitHub directory to the another Azure DevOps repository. And then it has the trigger options that is on is nothing but you no. Know, when this GitHub action has to be invoked, this GitHub action has to be invoked on push 
where aren't you know any branches that is belongs to this particular repository or workflow dispatch workflow dispatch is nothing but manual trigger as well now within this you know we have defined a jobs i have a single job here that is you know check uh, bats version that is some very a uh, simple uh, job definition so here this job is running on ubuntu latest which is the free um, you know the github action machine given from uh, microsoft so we're going to use that run on ubuntu latest and then environment equal to dev so you can you can ignore this because i'm not using that parameter here so you can actually um, keep it or not keep it also fine so i'm for now i'm going to remove this off now and then we're going to go to the uh, you know we're going to go to the uh, steps the steps is nothing but you know here we have uh, only two steps because you know we are doing the job with only two steps one is a checkout which is a github action that will check out the repository and then the next action is actually um, to run a bash script so here i have a script name called commit.sh and that is actually consumes these many parameters the parameter being azure um, azure devops pack token azure devops you know username azure email address and the organization so these are all the information needed for this particular script to run right so commit.sh is the script that is this step is going to execute now i'm going to first walk you through the script and then i'm going to tell you like and how you have to keep these secrets in the github action secret so here i'm using here i'm using um, the repository secret but in your case you can use the environmental secret as well so far now what we do is you know i'm going to explain the commit.sh file so this is a script which is doing a magic under the hood which is basically uh, you know syncs the changes in the github uh, repo to the azure devops repository right so um, since this is being run as uh, you know the bash script if you see here it has the environmental variable that is needed for uh, running the script and then we are doing a change mod that is nothing but ch mod plus x which is making the script executable and then of course we are calling that script that's it and the uh, the run environment is nothing but bash script right now i'm going to save this changes and then we're going to see the demo then go to the commit so let's let's try to see what is that happening here and then we're going to go to the demo so here you know we are reading the environmental variable to the local variables of the script that is pat token username user email address and org so we need these information so i'm copying those uh, uh, values of those uh, values you know values of those uh, variables from the environmental variables now here we are actually doing a remove the github information so um, as we have seen in this uh, particular one the first task itself is checkout which what does that mean is it will clone the repository uh, you know when this github action runs and when it clones you know you might have seen that there will be a folder will be created with the repository name underneath that folder you have the source code information along with the source code information you know source code files and folders you have a default directory called that git which is actually keeps the information so that folder we have to remove it forcibly because i want to sync the only the the source code not the github folder right so that's the reason we are removing the git information from the cloned copy of the source code and then we are doing a fetch the changes from the azure devops to to ensure that we have a latest so basically um, git fetch is been done here and then so this is something we are constructing in the sense first what we are doing is basically um, pull the changes from the azure devops uh, if the existing branches and the have the commits in the sense here what we are doing is you know um, with this script we are actually doing a pulling the changes from our uh, imported github repository so here um, the command is we are using git command by the way git pull and this is the url so how are we constructing this url is very important so it is constructed by using multiple uh, you know bodies or multiple parts of this url is been constructed with using the variables uh, you have a https this is a username that is nothing but we kept it here from the username i'm going to show you what are all the username and how do you keep those usernames in the github secrets or repository secrets later here is a pat token colon pat token at the rate dev dot azure dot com forward slash your org for slash your project name underscore git for slash your repository name so this is the url so with this you know what you are doing is you are actually pulling the changes from the azure devops right and then goes the next one that is you know set the git user identity so we are doing a certain um, you, you know github identities are being set that is email address and the names have been set and then uh, you know then the next one is git add dot uh, add all the changes into the stages and commit and push that to the ado so this is very simple step that is uh, you are doing a git add dot uh, then you are committing the changes right uh, committing the changes with a name like sync from github to azure devops and then again we are here we are doing a git push 
So basically, under the hood, you know, the magic is happening with the two git command, git pull and git push. Okay. And uh, this is a simple script, you know, it will do everything synchronization from um, GitHub to the ADO, right? So now with that said, you know, what we do is, you know, I'm going to keep this uh, changes as it is. Now I'm going to take you to the my um, my GitHub and then show you the those environmental settings. You go to the settings here, click on the settings. Uh, in the settings, you know, you go to the secrets and variables, uh, go to the actions. In the actions, you know, I am not have not used environment. But you can use the environment here. You see that we created a repository secret like Azure org, Azure PAT token, username, and email address. So let's let me show you what is the organization values. To create a repository a secret, you can click on this um, new repository. So here, give that org name here like this, and the, our org name is nothing but as I said earlier, this is our org name. So click on this one, and and you know click on add secret. So which will add Azure org values. Okay, the Azure org value is like this. So now pat token. So to create a pat token, you can go to the this bar that is user setting, click on that, and there is a personal access token here. Click on there and you can create a pat token uh, which is needed for your demo. So here to create a pat token, click on this one, give the name like something like chem pat token, something here, and then organization, let it be organization where your repositories, um, you know, expiry date, make it uh, very minimum, and uh, you know, give the Basically, you can give the uh, full access for now because you know you, it is controlled by you. So, so this is how you know click on a create to create a pat token, right? For example, so let me create it. I'm going to delete it afterwards. No worries. No worries. So this is your pat token. You need to copy it, right? Copy this value and try to paste it in the repository secret that you create. All right. So that is how we created the pat token, right? And then we go to the next value. So the next value is username. The username is nothing but you know that you can get it from here. I'm going to show you that how to get the username. Click on this particular, um, you know, the repository. So our repository is this one. Click on a clone here and then just say like a generate uh, git token. So this is your username. This is an alternative approach to identify the username. So you can find out the uh, your ADO username. So that is how the ADO username got created. And the email address, the email address is nothing but, you know, the email address that you see in your profile so this is my profile so here is the email address that you can copy for this particular uh, you know the demo so this is how we actually set those uh, four repository secrets and that is how um, you know the repo the secrets are being consumed in this uh, particular uh, you know the github actions now with that said what we did is you now i'm going to make some certain um, convention changes okay for now the repository is already synchronized in the sense when i imported it you know it has in the sense our main branch has the i have made changes to this particular main branch okay so what i do is you know i'm going to do a couple of changes here so that i show you that it commits so what we do is you know we're going to add say like demo comments being added right and also i will add a couple of folders uh, just folders and files so let me say like uh, you know this source code um say like a uh, source code so in this source code, what we do, we're going to do is, you know, we're going to add our uh, Python file, say like test.py file right, and let it be default. So, so far now what we did is, you know, we made a readme.md file changes. Uh, we made this one. So this is something I'm going to write it like, uh, say like, uh, you know, yeah, for now you can keep it something like, uh, I will just write a, a command here. Say like, this is like a test file. Okay. So we made this changes uh, in the, in this particular source code as well. So I'm going to save this i'm gonna save this okay so with this changes you know i'm gonna uh, commit these changes and synchronize upstream so we're gonna commit this um, commit message is is demo test and then click on a commit and synchronize it so since our github action is triggered based on the uh, events on any of the uh, uh, you know the any of the branches so here is the right so here it says hey trigger this particular workflow on any active on pushing to end branches so we just know push to a main branch right and changes are also made on a main branch right um, so let's see if the github action got triggered and it has synchronized i'll go to this uh, you know the github actions and here you go so it looks like it has just now committed and completed very fast right and if i go here and try to open the run script one so i see that you know the github action has gone green which means that you know, it has executed and synchronized it so if we go here and try to refresh the our main branch in the in the ADO side, we should see the changes. So earlier 
uh, you know so earlier this file had you know this file had only single line now the changes i made uh, that is demo comment has been added so that has been added now or you see that the folder is also getting synchronized the um, you know the test pr file is also synchronized okay so likewise you know you can do a lot of things you know it gets synchronized and this is how you know basically uh, uh, we synchronize this source code from um, github repository to azure devops repository with using a very simple convention that is running a bash script with using github actions that's it so with that note i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can't request please do you know subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot uh, with that note thank you thanks for attending the next video